Part three. All right, check this out. You niggas need to stop fighting each other. You know who you are. I ain't going to say your name. You niggas need to stop fucking fighting each other over some bullshit. Because both of you going off. And that's real. Both of you going off. Stop that shit. Because it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And you know who I'm talking to because you know who the main niggas is out there constantly throwing little insults around each other, making little comments, being disrespectful for each other when that same devil want to kill both of you motherfuckers. Anyway, like I was saying at the end of part two, if he was writing, Paul, Peter, whoever, was writing a letter to a Ephesians, church at Ephesus. If he's writing a letter to that church, there has to already be a church there for him to be writing to. This, this is stuff that I peaked with common sense years ago, man. Some of you niggas is out here 35, 40 years old, 45. And I'm going to tell you this, you know, people learn in their own time. That's something that I've learned as well. But some stuff's supposed to be common sense, though. But, you know, like I was saying, there has to already be a church at the city of Ephesus for him to be writing a letter to that church. He ain't writing it to no imaginary motherfucker. So it's somebody already there. Now, whatever he's writing in this letter, right, this has to be something that obviously, or he wouldn't be writing it, that they wasn't already doing. Common sense. Damn your religious tradition of none of that. I'm telling I'm, we try we talk about real shit now. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with reality. Okay. Now, these people learn from Israelites, so-called Jews, whether they were Jews in a Gentile state of mind or, or Israelites in a Gentile state of mind or whether they're natural Gentiles, whatever. The, the point is they learn from Israelites. All right. Now, you had to establish your, your church based on what? Your following based on what? Scriptures. What scriptures? If Paul was going around teaching, just like you would say, you would tell somebody today, you would be like, well, look, I don't want to hear nothing unless you come in with the scripture. Common sense ought to tell you, well, you know, you want somebody to quote scripture. Well, put them in and by that, hold them to that same thing. Don't say nothing new. Okay, if that's the case. Then when Paul was going around and Peter going around, James, so forth, if they teaching what they teaching, they teaching scripture. What scripture is they teaching? Common sense tell you the only, only scripture they teaching is what? The only scripture they had, which was what you call the Old Testament, just like I said in the previous video. That's common sense. Now, had you been living in those times, just like, I, just like I say, because there was a time where this brother that I knew he has a so-called got saved you know you know how these, these teenagers these college students and all you know the younger people they get saved what so quote unquote saved so I asked this guy one day and it, it caught me off guard because I didn't you know I didn't expect him to answer like this I had just started coming into the truth just started and I asked him, I said, well, look, if you were living back during the time of the gospel, back in Jesus' time. See, I said Jesus then because I ain't know. I said, if you had lived back in Jesus' time, would you have followed him? And this brother told me straight up, he said, probably not. And I couldn't say anything else to him because it shocked me that he would say that. You know, I thought he, you know, nigga would lie, you know. But my thing is... You know, with people like that, ask yourself that question. What, what makes you think your faith is authentic? Because you wouldn't believe it if you was a contemporary. See, we often, we'll be in the church. I know I, I thought about it when I was growing up in the church. And, you know, all the Pharisees and all them people didn't believe in him. They evil. Well, you say that now. But had you been living back in the time with them and that cat was out there saying stuff that was not conventional and was rocking the boat, you wouldn't have believed it either. You, you so-called believe it now because it's what's being taught to you by the popular 
religious establishment. Since it's a popular idea, you believe in it. Back then, that wasn't a popular idea. It was raising hell, so you wouldn't have believed in it. Most of you niggas that call yourself Christians, if you grew up in Mecca or, or, or somewhere else in Saudi Arabia, you wouldn't believe in no Christianity. You'd be a Muslim because that's what's popular there. You go along with whatever because if somebody asks you something about Christianity, explain the religion of Christianity, you wouldn't be able to do it. But you hold to it and you will defend it. If I say Christianity is a lie, you will defend it. You say, no, it ain't. And you get the hooping and hollering, getting all pissed off and shit for nothing. And you can't explain or back it up and spit no evidence for it, which don't make no sense. Because if somebody tell me that this is heaven and hell, the eternity of your soul, nigga, I'm not taking that shit for granted. Or somebody's word for it. If you tell me, if we go to a restaurant and you say, hey man, order this, this good right here, that's something I could take your word for and just try it out. You know, I might, if, if it's not good, I might have wasted $12, $13. But when somebody tell you about some heaven and hell, you finna burn or have paradise forever, you gonna burn in hell forever if you get it wrong, that ain't no shit to take somebody else's word for, nigga. You supposed to be studying that. If you really believe in that, you study in that. That's how I know you church niggas don't believe in this Bible. You don't believe in your fake religion that the Bible contradicts anyway. But you don't believe in it, man. That's how I know that. So you need to stop playing. Get on some real shit. You're going to be a sinner, nigga. Go fuck off. Stop playing because it ain't going to work. You ain't going to get nothing for it. That's what you're thinking. You still going to die with the atheist because that's what you are. Anyway, a damn atheist, nigga. So stop playing. Now, back to what I was saying. Oh, and let me say this. Since I'm on this subject. You had them niggas. Well, I, I think they Arabs, actually, from uh, Truth After Knowledge, right? They, they you know, they going at the ISUPK talking about the virgin birth shit. Listen, just like I, just like I just said, I told them cats, we were talking about the virgin birth. And they, you know, they going all into the the Greek, this say this, and this word mean Joseph one they they was they were married, but they didn't have sex. Listen. Fuck all that. I don't give a fuck what no Greek word say. We know the Hebrew of Isaiah, where that's supposed to come from. We know, and you read chapter seven, you know damn well they ain't talking about no virgin birth or nothing else that happened 700 years later. That's just how it is. All right, you don't agree with that, you need to get real. You know it ain't talking about no virgin birth. Just like a lot of mother prophecies in Matthew, like Rachel weeping for her children, you know that, don't play with yourself. You know that's not talking about him. You know that's not talking about Herod killing them babies. You know that, and you know better to, to be sitting up here trying to pretend like that's what they're talking about. You know that's a lie. Stop it. I don't give a damn who told you who told you that. You know it's a lie. Stop it. But like I said, I told these truth after knowledge cats this, and they love they arguing with the great millstone and Gatner Christ brother came on there made a comment and and some other ISUPK affiliates and, and people learning in school coming on there. Look. Fuck all that stuff that they were saying, trying to come with the word and stuff. I, I told them, I told them cash from True Fat Knowledge just like this. And I told them this three times. And I they trying to, to 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 get a response for them after after I said this, and they never did. And what I told them was, I said, if if a woman told you she was pregnant, but she ain't never had sex with no man, you wouldn't believe that. He gonna try to go with the uh typical Christian response. Of course, we wouldn't believe if some girl today said it, but we believe Mary was a virgin because the Bible says so. And he put that in capital letters because the Bible says so in caps, in all capital letters. I said, motherfucker, that's the point. Had you been a contemporary of that and lived back in them days, you wouldn't have believed Mary either because it wasn't in the Bible back then because it hadn't, it was just happening. So it wasn't no time to write it down at that point. Which means that you would not have believed something that you yourself claiming right now is the truth. With your dumb ass.